What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Shark the Pimp versus Kiko Marty. Now, for a lot of people on the pimp side of YouTube, this was the showdown that a lot of people was waiting for. Sharp versus Kiko. As a matter of fact, last week, dude by the name of Suave, he went on Instagram. And he brought on Kenny Red. Shout out to Kenny Red, legendary. And Kiko. And as Kenny Red and Kiko was talking, guess what people were saying in the Instagram comments? They were saying, let Sharp in. Sharp trying to come. Sharp trying to come in. Let Sharp in. Swab is like, yo, he got a request. He got a request to come in. People was waiting for Sharp to come in. Everybody's typing, let him in, let him in. You know what I did? I followed up. But I said, don't let that nigga in. Don't let him in. You know why? Because it was Kenny Red. And Kiko having a mature, logical conversation. They wasn't arguing. They wasn't cursing at each other. They was having a normal conversation. Kenny Red asking him questions. Kiko asking, asking him questions. They answering each other's questions, talking peacefully. So, moving forward, Kiko does a live stream. And guess who calls up? Sharp. I knew how this was going to go. I knew how this was going to go. See, see, before I get into that, when I first saw Sharp, it was on Adam 22's uh, YouTube. And when I first saw him, I saluted him. You know why? Because that female, I think her name Blue Jazz, whatever her name was, he put her in her place. He checked her like he was supposed to. Him getting overly aggressive, him yelling and all that, even though I don't agree with that, it was called for at that time with, a, with an individual like her. It was called for. But then... When I saw him do the same thing to another young P that came on Adam 22, I said, nah, nah. Now, now, now you're arguing. Now you're just yelling. So, observing his behavior, I was able to predict how he was going to act when talking or addressing the issues he had with Kiko. I could almost predict it, almost. So guess what happened? He calls in. I'm just assuming he's about to go at Kiko, call him all types of names. But instead, he goes right after the female co-host. Start arguing with her. Yeah, yeah, you need to shut your mouth, bitch. You need to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> so already, it was already getting on my nerves. What do I keep telling y'all? Everybody who's been listening to me, what do I keep telling y'all? When someone is guilty or they don't want to be exposed or they don't want you to prove them wrong, what do they do? They argue. They fight with you so that, so that they can be evasive towards questions. And that's exactly what he did with Kiko. Sharp had a case a few years ago, well, years ago, 2007, I don't know, 2010, I don't know, where Kiko found documents about information about how he got locked up. And in these documents, Kiko was insinuating that he snitched, allegedly. But after reading the documents, Kiko was insinuating that Sharp Snitched on one of his hoes. We, I don't know if it's true. But the paperwork is suspect. 
So he goes asking just straight up questions. Say, wait, 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 sharp, sharpie, sharpie. Why is why does this says this and this says that in a calm manner? Calm manner. He asking them these questions. Goes to sharpie. Hey man, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like nigga, you run your mouth like a bitch. Now you talk about you the pimping. See. It don't take a genius to be a pimp. I, I, I want everybody to know this. It does not take a genius to be a pimp. All you must have is willpower. That's all. And discipline. That's all. You could be as dumb as a rock and have a woman make your money. How much you're going to make, I don't know. How well she's going to be at it, I don't know. But listening to Sharp, I'm trying to understand how or if he was a successful P. Here it is. You call yourself a pimp, but you have no self-control. If you call yourself a pimp, you must have self-control. You're supposed to let the, 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 the hoe is the one that's supposed to not have self-control, not have discipline. But every time someone confronts you, all you do is argue like a bitch. That's all you do. And, and, and you, 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 you call yourself this solidified, certified pimp. And, 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 and I'm not even going to say, oh, I, I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to say what other pimps be saying. Oh, oh man, yeah, di you dig, man. I don't respect your pimping. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect your pimping. I ain't going to say all that because you know why? Another pimp doesn't have to respect your pimping. You can still be a successful pimp, even though other pimps don't respect your pimping. So whether I respect it or not, it doesn't matter. You can still be successful. All, all only thing I dislike is that you lack self-control and you always act like you better than somebody else. Here it is, you in your late 30s, 40s, and you have the self-control of a teenage boy. Of a teenage boy. Kiko was right there. People was waiting for you to verbally disarm Kiko. People was anticipating for you to use verbal jujitsu. Against Kiko, but what you did, you folded like a bitch. That's what you did. Talking about you this and you that, all you doing is yelling, yelling. Can you shut up? Damn. Like, 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 I, I know you a man. I know you a man. But just listening to you, word is born. I, 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 I thought I was listening to a bitch, honestly. So in closing, Sharp, learn some damn self-control, yo. Do that. Do that. Because I never wanted to see this showdown with you and Kiko. The only showdown I'm interested in seeing is a showdown between Kiko and, and Sinful. That's it. Because, because at least sinful got self-control. He got that. Kiko has self-control. Kiko is waiting for you to answer, for you to ask him a question so he can listen and then respond. Boom and hit your ass. What you do? Hey yo, Kiko, just argue. And, and, and you know, you know what? It's rare that I take the side of a female. It's rare, but in this case, Kiko's female co-host, I agreed with her. I agree with her. 
You're just like a bitch. I, I'm, I'm letting you know, sharp, sharp. This is me. I'm telling you, you act like a bitch. Well, where, 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 whether you sat a bitch down on this blade or that blade, whatever. All I'm saying is that you conduct yourself like a bitch. Yo, matter of fact, I'm gonna close out with this. Kenny Red, Kenny Red, like he he's a legend. He's an OG. And he asked Kiko, a a a. He's like, hey, hey, Kiko, is there a way we could come together? You know what I mean? Put our difference to the side. Like, basically speaking about Kiko and Sharp. Like, like, so he basically said, can we put our differences aside, come together? You know what I mean? Would, 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 would you be able to help these peas in the game? Lend your services to the peas in the game? Something, something, something in that nature. You know what Kiko said? He said, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm always open to that. Whether he was telling the truth or not, I don't know. But he said, yeah, yeah, I'm always open to that. And then and then he came at Sharp. He said, Sharp, man, hey, I, I like what you're doing, but maybe you should start doing this and do that. B basically, what he was doing with Sharp is trying to give him some constructive criticism. And, and, and he sounded like he was genuine. I don't know. He sounded like he was genuine. And what Sharp did? What did Sharp do? Like a bitch. He said, hey, 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 man, look at my numbers, man. Look at my numbers, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing big numbers, man. You know what I'm talking about? Man, nigga, them ain't your numbers. Them Adam 22 numbers. Those Adam numbers. Don't act like. Listen, listen, listen. Sharp, I need you to listen. Don't act like. Your audience that you have right now is here because of you solely. Don't do that. Adam made you, son. Adam brought you on his podcast. Then people knew about you. You ain't grow nothing. You don't so don't act like you got it out the mud, son, because you didn't. The only people that really got it out the mud to this day is Kiko and Sinful. They got it out the mud. You did not do that. So what you need to do, and I say this respectfully, is that you need to humble yourself. Because right now, you're acting like a bitch. You got too much vagina juice in your blood. And that was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> And I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.